so uh, I'll just go ahead and start this payload once more and see if we can go ahead and as you can see uh, command shell 2 was opened and I'll just go through and type sessions we have the session 2 so I'll type I space 2 new session was opened since I ran it again and I have the desktop uh, access as well but desktop access is not that important we want the root access that is the system32 access so before I go ahead and gather the access to system32 I will first migrate this to the explorer that we have over here that's explorer.exe so that even if the person goes ahead and um, closes this payload.exe our program will still continue to run until unless this explorer is shut down or restarted so I'll just go ahead and uh, show you how to how we can go ahead and do that let's go ahead and check the health and see what all things we have so these are the things that we can go ahead and do and just make sure uh, remember that in case if you have want to migrate you cannot do it through the command prompt you need to do it through uh, the meter meter prompt but the reason uh, but the thing is that we are using the shell prompt of command and not the meter meter so you won't be able to do that in this virus you will have to use the meter meter so command prompt is just a, a small thing if you get access through a meter meter then you will be able to run the command prompt ev and everything just through meter meter but still command prompt is useful in its own way and it's not that heavy as meter meter that's the reason people use that so I have all the commands that I can go ahead and use as you can see over here so we'll be using some of these let's go ahead and uh, as we have a desktop let's create some text files so uh, let me check what is the let's go ahead and create a directory with the name of Mr. Smart. Okay, so a directory was created. Let's go ahead and check if our directory was created over here. Perfect, we have the Mr. Smart. And there is one more thing that I would like to teach you is that now if the person goes in and tries to go ahead and shift delete it, it won't be able to delete because the reason being that it is running the being run in the background. So if the person is smart enough, as I told you again. He will just download the application, he will double click it, he will run it, he will, if uh, there is nothing happening in the background, he will try to delete it. But he will see that, okay, I am not able to delete it, that means it's still running and if the person is smart enough, he will go ahead and right click on the task manager and he will check the task manager and he will see that this payload is still running. So he will right click and he will end the process tree over here, which you do not want. So the first thing that you would want to do is go ahead over here in Cal Linux and as soon as you go ahead and get access to the computer I'll just go ahead and copy it and again that won't be able to do that over here since this is just a command prompt I'll show you that in the meter meter prompt because that is a very vast thing so in short you can do anything that you want over here in the comma, uh, command prompt as you see that I have created the folder Mr. Smart if I wanted to delete that I'll type rmdir uh, Mr smart and the folder should have been removed perfect if I let's see if I can go ahead and gain access to okay ls is not operatable sorry I thought I was uh, in Linux let's check the command I don't have much idea about the command for Windows let's go ahead and check what all options do we have over here So chdir, let's check chdir, okay I'm in C but I want to check all the directories so let's check in this command prompt let's type prompt, it's in prompt so it moves to directory, okay attribute and uh, break uh, chdir displays set of added name of change name or changes calls and batch let's check uh, if we can go and see all the files yeah, perfect we have it dir 
okay so i can see all the files over here let's try to go into windows if we could do that perfect and again i'll type dir let's try to go to system 32 perfect so i believe we have the administrator access over here right now because we are already into system 32 and the administrator is uh, the main that is the test user so anything that we want to do over here we can do over here and we don't need to go ahead and hesitate into doing anything else so let's go ahead and check what are the other commands so uh, you can do anything you want over here uh, recover anything the readable file create another file create your own payload and if you're smart enough you can just go ahead and gather all the access from this person's computer over here so that is it for this tutorial and um, if you want much more information you can just go ahead and see all of these things and you need to learn all of these things as you can do each and everything if you know all the proper commands and yes there's not much to it you can do all of these things that you can do in a normal windows computer but we only have the administrator access uh, as of now and what we want would be to go ahead and gain the system access which is much more than the normal administrator so uh, but we won't be able to do that just by using a normal command prompt we want meter meter for that and i would be teaching you that in the next tutorial so that's it guys for this tutorial and i'll be seeing you in the next tutorial